Good morning, friends. This is Sunil Bhattanaga again present before you with a video on importance of 2.5% span length and 50% span length. Now, friends, before uh, telling you the importance, we should understand that from where it comes, what is the span length and why it is necessary. Friends, in older days, uh, there is sort of diagram or the hand stapling method was used, which I have explained already in my previous videos. They were used to estimate the effective length, mean length, short fiber percentage. And as it was very time consuming, so we have shifted to those instruments, which gives us uh, immediate result due to high speed spinning. So span length is also one of that criteria as clear in the diagram that if 9000 fibers they are present at the initial stage and when it is moved uh, towards the, the right hand side and when the 225 fibers are present in that particular line so these called the 2.5 percent span length and if out of 9000 fibers, the 4500 fibers comes at a particular distance, that distance is called 50% span length. Now, what is span length? The span length is that length which contains percentage of fibers from the original fiber population would span when caught a line where the fibers are caught randomly to a point where only a certain percentage of fiber extend. Thus 2.5% span length is that length which 1 by 48 of the fibers would span when randomly caught along their length. As you have seen here that this is the distance where only 225% fibers are present out of a total population of 9000 fibers. So this distance is called 2.5% span length. If I move this line towards the initial line then where the line where the 4500 fibers are present that length is called the 50% span length. Now friends, what is the importance? Now as you have seen that whether it is the setting, whether it is the estimating the properties of the yarn, whether it is Selecting the parts of the roller as you have seen in cotton the ring frame bottom roll diameter is 27 mm While the distance for man-made fiber it is 30 mm so these are the important Reasons due to which We are checking these properties. Now difference between the fiber length and span length. Span length is the fiber extension distance and it is not the fiber length. The staple diagram is universally accepted as the ultimate expression of the end-to-end -end length of the fiber. The sorter or accurate test is the laboratory method of expressing fiber length in staple length configuration. Fiber arrangements of the array staple diagram relate to not so easy to end-to-end -end fiber length. Actual fiber extension in yarn manufacture cannot be easily determined from the staple diagram. Similarly, span length cannot be used to determine the end-to-end -end fiber length. The staple diagram represents fibers as express in the laboratory. The fibrogram represents the same fibers as this would be appear in spinning. 
Sometimes FS, Fiber Information System. Now this comes in late 90s. And this instrument was used for finding the NAPS short fiber percentage. So this instrument for FS, it was normally used for finding the size of the NAPS, the short fiber percentage. And while the spin lab, it was used for 2.5% spin length or 50%, then uh, spinning consistency index, strength, maturity, and fineness. So these two instruments, they cannot be used for the uh, same purpose because in uh, spin lab, we are getting more properties where the uh, fineness, trash, and other impurities will also find out properties. While the F is, it was used for size of the naps, the short fiber, so that we can estimate the fiber damage, which is taking place at different stage of the spinning. So both instruments you cannot uh, take into uh, or compare that which is better. So friends, this is all for today. I hope that in this video, what is span length, why it is used, and what is the difference between uh, fiber length and span length. Thank you friends. Have a nice day. If you are having any questions, you can ask uh, from my uh, channel. Have a nice day.